Hello, I'm Christy Weir, and I'll be your host for this short tour celebrating the centennial of the San Buenaventura City Hall. One of the most beautiful civic structures in California, this state historical landmark, listed on the National Register of Historic Places, is noted for its gleaming terracotta exterior, copper sheathed dome, elegant Italian marble foyer, coffered ceilings, and paneled council chambers. Set in a landscape of rare beauty, palm-fronted San Buenaventura City Hall has dominated the community from its hillside location for a century, looking down California Street to the ocean and the old pier. Above it, a long range of picturesque oak-crowned hills rise 250 feet above sea level. Before it stands a designated landmark, a bronze replica of John Paulo Kangas's Federal Works Project Administration, WPA, statue of Father Junipero Serra founder of Mission San Buenaventura in 1782. Albert C. Martin, now considered a legendary Los Angeles architect, was only 31 and in business for himself just two years when Ventura County selected him in 1910 to build its third courthouse. Already he was in demand throughout the West in planning and construction of large buildings for his expertise as a structural engineer, attention to detail, and originality of design. It's a magnificent affair, declared local free press about the new building during Ventura's triple celebration on Independence Day in 1913. This was truly modern Ventura's big bang year, with its explosion of grand projects and civic improvements. New Main Street storefront treatments, the founding of today's Museum of Ventura County and Ivy Lawn Cemetery, a restored Ortega Adobe and Sarah Cross in Grant Park, a new library, bank, and high school, and above all, the opening of the Rincon Causeway and Ventura River Bridge connecting Ventura to Santa Barbara and the new courthouse. All celebrated an economic boom from rail, oil, and agriculture just 41 years after Ventura County was carved from Santa Barbara in 1871. The brilliant white skin of the courthouse, 3,600 tiles, dozens of friars' heads, massive Doric columns, and Roman arch windows and pediment ornaments is made of terracotta, Italian for baked clay, the popular bow art substitute for stone blocks produced by the historic Gladding McBean plant in Lincoln, California. Dozens of terracotta heads depicting the Franciscan friars who founded Ventura in 1782 as the ninth and last original mission by Junipero Serra enliven the neoclassical facade's arched windows as keystones. Four medallions with initials S, B, C, H for San Buenaventura Courthouse and eight with lima bean bouquets entwine the handsome retractable bronze entry gates. Above the gates, seven more lima bean bunches dangle from heraldic shields, four in terracotta outside and three carved in wood inside the courtroom. As a reminder that Ventura County's then chief cash crop largely paid for the munificence of the building. Joseph Mosto and Sons Keenan Company of San Francisco's steam-powered marble sawmill cut blocks down the middle as if opening a book to create the building's remarkable book match panels where vein patterns on one marble slab mirror its twin. The company founder, born near Italy's Carrara Quarries, the source of courthouse marble, came for the gold rush but claimed real success as a pioneer marmista, a master stonecutter. The 20-foot vestibule is a compound book-matched masterpiece of rare Statuario Venato, veined statuary, Nero Portoro, black and gold, and gold Calacata, and the marble opulence continues in the foyer with its sweeping, bifurcating staircase and corridors. For its coffered ceilings, Italian craftsmen created intricately worked plaster friezes of scallop shells, acanthus leaves, fruit and vegetable garlands, and ripe vineyards to accentuate Art Nouveau-style chandeliers, fixtures, and backlit panels. A stained glass ceiling adorns the handsome community meeting room, former courtroom for the Justice of the Peace. Plaster law books and scrolls adorn the vault of the small cherrywood-paneled courtroom in City Hall West. And above the central mahogany-paneled superior courtroom, today's council chambers, three Tiffany-style starburst stained glass domes depict the scales, sword, and law book of justice, a gift from the architect. Until 1933, Earl Stanley Gardner, author of the Perry Mason Detective Series, practiced law in this courtroom, where the last woman to be executed in California, Elizabeth Ma Duncan, was tried in 1958 for the murder of her daughter-in-law. 
and where Charles Manson and a busload of his followers were booked and arrested in 1968 for grand theft, driver's license infractions, and disorderly conduct prior to the notorious Tate LaBianca murders. The courthouse was built for $269,000, equal to $6.3 million in 2013, for a small city of 5,000 and county of 20,000 population. But in 1969, the proud courthouse closed, declared seismically unsound, followed in 1981 by its annex, completed in 1932 as the sheriff's department and jail. To save the priceless complex from demolition, the city of Ventura purchased, restored, and reopened the courthouse as City Hall in 1974 and the annex as City Hall West in 1988. The conversion from courthouse to city hall made Ventura a state pioneer in preserving downtowns rich in California history and period architecture. It meticulously restored the terracotta facade, marble facings, ornate plaster ceilings, and fine woodwork, replaced plumbing, electrical and airflow systems, and seismically reinforced the existing steel frame and concrete foundation with new interior walls and inside foundations. The seismic upgrade entailed peeling brick walls of their marble facings to add steel rebar and gunite, air-blown concrete, shown here in the vestibule. Architectural restorers Bruce Archibick and Ron West of Cannell and Chafin preserved and transformed the richly paneled walls and ceilings of the Superior Courtroom into the new City Council Chambers. City Hall became a tourist destination for the world's art lovers in 2000 when new galleries with Bulgarian Kalakata cream marble floors and columns displayed its municipal art collection. Founded in 1998, the showcase for the county's storied artists such as Beatrice Wood, Horace Bristol, Otto Heino, and Jesse Arms Botke, as well as major living artists such as John Nava, Ted Gall, and Paul Linhart spills over both floors with almost 100 works by 71 artists in sculpture, painting, photography, etching, ceramics, and other multimedia. Ventura City Hall may be 100 years old, but it is also a modern living building full of city staff providing valuable services for today's residents. In its treasury office, you can pay your water bills and obtain permits and business licenses. Its community development and public works offices ensure safe neighborhoods of homes and streets. The city manager, city clerk, city attorney, and city council offices work for a well-administered city. And its parks, recreation, and community partnerships offices create opportunities for residents to have a better life through beautiful parks and exciting recreation programs. A 1911 Los Angeles Times editorial declared, Ventura County has determined to build for all time, calling this building one of the most imposing in California, on the most beautiful site in the state, added Ventura's own newspaper, The Weekly Democrat. Today, this stately building is once again the talk of the town, as we celebrate our pride and good stewardship of one of the most beautiful civic structures in California. Ventura City Hall celebrates its 100th year looking as beautiful as ever and ready to serve our residents for years to come. I'm Councilmember Christy Weir, and on behalf of the entire Ventura City Council, thank you for watching.